The first time I saw a choker, the coolest girl in my class wore one of those plastic chokers. And I was like, oh my God, what is that? Because I was like, that can't be comfortable. Chokers are definitely having a moment and it provides us with this really great vehicle for exploring how trends work. How do they start? And what determines which ones catch on? Fashion is cyclical, and right now, a lot of fashion is looping back to the 90s, but chokers have a pretty amazing history. The earliest ones we know of are thousands of years old. In ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, chokers were seen as amulets, granting the person wearing it with attributes like power and strength. It makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Your neck is a pretty vulnerable area, so covering it up comes with a feeling of security. You can see that same idea in the Native American tradition, where men and women wore chokers made of leather and bone as both a ceremonial garment and protective armor. Chokers have had thousands of years to evolve, but one thing has remained pretty consistent, and that's that chokers have a surprisingly royal history. Anne Boleyn, the former queen of England, is widely credited with bringing chokers into vogue in the 1500s. So you might be thinking, Anne Boleyn, I've heard of her. She's pretty infamous. Is that where the sexual connotation comes from? Not quite. You have to jump ahead to the 1800s to get to the sexy stuff. Psychoanalyst Analyst JC Flugel had this theory that clothing can create shifting erogenous zones. Even if your clothes are covering something, they can still draw attention to it in a sexual way. Hey! And that's maybe why prostitutes started wearing them. You can famously see a choker on an escort in Manet's Olympia, as well as chokers on ballerinas who often doubled as escorts in a handful of paintings by Degas. So the narrative that chokers are sexual actually has a little history to back it up. These two ideas of royal status and sex appeal finally caught up with each other in the 90s when chokers showed up on the necks of celebrities with overt sex appeal. Kylie Jenner or Rihanna wearing a choker on Instagram is what fashion historians call a microtrend. One reason why this microtrend caught on is sheer simplicity. The choker is cheap, easy to manufacture, and easy to wear. It can be a ribbon or a shoelace or a strip of fabric. And it's a lot easier to copy that part of Kylie or Rihanna's outfit than the $4,000 dress. What I love about retro trends is we get to revisit and explore the stories behind these clothes. And sometimes we get to add a new twist. The choker, once a trend for royals, now a trend for the people. So I want to know, do you think the choker is going to stick around? You can let me know in the comments or on social media using the hashtag WeWearCulture. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed learning about that as much as I did, head on over to Google Arts and Culture here. And make sure to check out the rest of the videos by clicking here.